share. It's about a 15 year old girl named Mandy who wakes up on her lawn one night after like being at a party and doesn't know how she got there. Like last thing she remembers, she was at this house party. And the next day, uh, a viral video starts circulating. And the story is like not anyone's story. It's a, it's in a conglomeration. Um, but that's, but it's about that and it's a thriller. So the, th the thriller aspect is the pursuit of her memories. She can't find them. No one is telling the truth. Um, and it's out there in the digital space somewhere, but there's no like origin. When you're that age, your whole world is high school. So for her, her whole world doesn't make sense anymore. And the question of what happened isn't, isn't, it's not, it can't not be answered. You can't go on like that. And so I wanted to um, imbue the visuals with that kind of tension and that kind of, almost to say like importance, you know? And so we used um, a lot of techniques to distort the image, to create environments that um, feel dangerous and you don't know why. Something we did that was a very, uh, you know, it's a decision once you start it, you cannot go backwards, was we shot on, we shot anamorphic on the mini, but we cropped at two instead of uh, 239. And we did that because we wanted to use the part of the image that was the most compressed. That was one of the sort of base instruments we gave ourselves, was this instead of like, you know, shooting regular anamorphic or regular 239 or regular or letterboxed or whatever, any of these, any of these formats that we feel comfortable in, we kind of gave ourselves something that was not comfortable. And, um, and we had to discover how to, how to create the claustrophobic world that we wanted to. Um, and I think we made the right choice in terms of like, f we found a tool that takes that step and we can't untake that step. We can't second guess because it's built into the DNA of the image. Because my lenses were not flexible at all, shooting on a mini, which is so flexible in terms of dynamic range, in terms of um, ways of dealing with skin tone, um, I was just, it was never a question whether or not I would or wouldn't shoot on an Alexa of some kind. Um, but I would be just so glad I made that decision because it was the only decision that made my life like real simple and like, and confident. Everything else we did because we wanted to really challenge ourselves. And so having this variable that was like a really good friend <laughs> made it, um, made the rest of the stuff feel like, you know, more, more fun and still know that I had like, that I was using a, a digital negative that was flexible in the way I needed it to be flexible. I think that young women seeing this and being able to have a window into someone who's experiencing this, not just like a spectacle on the internet, but someone's real experience, I think that they, will feel more empowered is my hope um, and less alone. And so my hope is that uh, young people, boys and men included, come away with a sense of what is this experience really like and how can we have, how can we have more empathy in the world to, to not do this to each other.